Hi friends, it's November the 2nd, so this is my November video update all about all the crafty things I've been up to in the past month. A um, few things to share with you today. Uh, most of my finished objects are not physically here with me, so I'll insert some photos when I can. Um, but yeah, I don't have any hot drinks today because the weather is hot enough. I did go um, to the shops after work and grab a cold uh, smoothie, which was lovely, but I finished that. Um, yeah, it's like a high of 33 degrees Celsius today, which is really unpleasant. It's just like you walk outside and it's just so stifling. You can barely even breathe. Um, but it's not too bad. I'm at my parents' house at the moment. It's not too bad inside because this house kind of is built not to heat up quite so much. As long as you, you know, close the blinds, open the windows, whatever. Um, I'm not opening the windows actually because it's the air that's hot rather than necessarily the sun. Anyway, that's enough about the weather. Um, <laughs> as always, I'm Elizabeth of Earl Grey Crochet and you can follow me as Earl Grey Crochet or one word on Instagram or obviously three separate words here on YouTube or also on Facebook. And if you want to see my projects on Ravelry, I am Hexokinase. So yeah, go check me out if you would like. If not, whatever. So... Yeah, I've got a couple of finished projects. Um, the first one was uh, the Copenhagen Calling Cow, which I made for my sister's birthday. I think I showed you guys last month um, that I was working on it. Um, now I made it from yarn that I bought at Skein Sisters when I went up there. It's the Spin DK Ren and Ollie in uh, Pond and Tide Pool. And it's a really lovely pattern. Um, I did realize uh, pretty much as I was finishing it that the pattern looks very different if you uh, knit it in two different colors or two contrasting colors, sorry, because the middle section kind of ends up, you get these two sets of triangles of the two different colors. Um, it does look pretty cool, but I really like how mine ended up. Um, it just gives it more of a subtle kind of texture um, to the cowl. Yes, and yeah, this is one of those projects I really enjoyed. Um, I find that with knitting, I'm yeah able to get really focused on a project and just keep going um, at the moment and really enjoy it, which is good. And I think my sister liked it. So, yes. My second finished project was also a gift and it was a little cross stitch that I made for a friend and it says, good hustle. And so this is based off um, the design Don't Tell Me To Smile by Plastic Little Covers. And um, yeah, so pretty much I took all the letters from there and all the leaves as well. And yeah, just moved it around and yeah, made the good hustle cross stitch. And I did message her quite a, um, quite a while ago about that just to make sure that was okay. It was but I'm so slow at getting to things, so that was probably over a year ago now. Now my first project, my first finished project that I can actually show you guys is a sewing one. I feel like I've shown you guys this, but I guess not. Depends when I filmed last month. I'm not sure. Anyway, I sewed this bag. It is entirely possible I showed you guys this in my last monthly update video. Um, I'm fairly sure I did actually. It's just a little bag, drawstring, ribbon in it. I definitely showed you. One thing I've changed since then is I've added, I really love these little pop vinyl figures. So I've got little Moana and a baby Groot hanging on the ends of my drawstrings. Um, I really love figurines and I really love both of these movies and these characters. So, yep. Yeah, so I guess this doesn't really count as a Fiji's project because I definitely remember showing you guys last time. If not, all the fabrics from Spotlight, so, and I made up the pattern. What's in here though is a work in progress. Um, October was Socktober, or the Sock Along, or the Sock Cow, whatever you want to call it. And so, using some yarn I got in my Fiber Lily D stash. This one's an, oops, with 86 grams. And you know, the I got some purple, oh, it's lovely. And so I was hanging out for Deanne of Addie Day Design to release her Segway Socks pattern. 
Um, and so I decided to use it for that. Her pattern does say you need 100 grams of your main color, but I figured I was just gonna make short socks anyway, not have the long leg. So it was fine. Also, you know, my feet are that large. So I did one of the smaller sizes. Um, and then my contrast color was a little pink mini skein that I bought when I went to Canberra Wool Festival back in May, a celebration of wool. Um, yeah, I got a set of five different mini skeins in kind of bright, fairly solid colors. And that was one of them. I was gonna show you me wearing these, but um, I have shoes on and socks and they're sweaty because it's hot, so we don't need to go there. Now when I did my gauge swatch, I thought I needed to use my three millimeter hook to do these. However, I popped, I got up to this far, so I did my toe, and even, even when I finished the toe, I was like, that's pretty tight, because I think because I started with a Migurumi with crochet, or maybe not because I started, but a lot of my crochet um, experience, I suppose, especially with US single crochets or UK double crochets, um, is a Migurumi. So I often do those a lot tighter. So I probably should have at least gone up a hook size for the toe. Um, but yeah, so I did that much on the first sock and then decided I wanted to up a hook size because it's really tight. Like there's a little bit of stretch, um, but definitely none of that's in the toe. And it kind of gets more here as my tension got a bit looser, I think, as per usual. Um, and so what I did when I got to this, I started the second toe, I started the second sock in my three and a half millimeter hook. Um, and I was gonna show you these on, but this isn't a really a stage I can do that anyway. And this just looked ridiculously stretched and tight. So I didn't make any, I didn't finish any socks in October, but that's okay. Um, it's a learning experience and I really like this yarn. I think the way it's not quite solid, it's kind of got different kind of shades of purple. It's a little bit hard to tell with the lighting on here. Um, yeah, I really like this color. So yeah, that's again, the purple from Fiber Lily. Um, so that's run by Kylie, who is also an Aussie dyer. And I don't think you, you can't get this color away because as I said, it is an oops. Um, but she does have some other lovely colors. So I got that in her D-stash. She actually did another D-stash recently, but I got plenty last time. So yeah, that's what's me in my little Christmas bag. Pop that all back in there. Um, I've also spent a little bit of time working on a cross stitch. It's a bit awkward to show you because I'm borrowing my mum's stand for embroidery at the moment. So I've popped it in this frame and then mum has a stand that holds the frame so you can just like sit on the couch and have it in front of you. You don't even have to hold it. It does mean it's very awkward to get in front of the camera. Anyway, so there's the stand. Okay, here's my cross stitch. So, oh, I hope you can see, there, there we go. Two little teacups. Well, one's almost finished. I've just got the center of this flower to go, but I figured I'd leave that um, until I've got some other things to use that color for as well. And there's also obviously like, you do lines and French knots all over there to kind of make it a bit more uh, teacup-like, a bit more finished. And then I've started this teacup as well. And yeah, I'm really enjoying it. It's another, you know, kind of come and go project where I'll spend a few days on it and then I'll spend plenty of days not working on it. Now, this one, I teased some of you guys on Instagram this week, showing you I was using some of this yarn for a project. Now this was the um, September Artisan Knit Crate yarn. And Knit Crate generously sent this to me after they accidentally sent me the wrong box the first time, which I have to like clarify, I'm sure you guys already realized they send that to me for free and if you guys do sign up with my link and my code I do make a small commission from that um, 
So, yes, it was very generous of them to send me the Artisan Knit Crate yarn for that month, and I'm very excited. And uh, what I actually did, because I've started knitting with one of them, I ordered a third one. Oh dear. I ordered a third one so that I can do a project. Not one of their patterns, because I decided it's a lovely um, linen, silk, and hemp blend, and so I really wanted to make something for summer. And I decided a um, summer top would be really nice. So, that's what I've started. I'm, I'm, yeah, this is another pattern I'm really enjoying. There's a lace section at the bottom, and then I'm onto the straight stocking stitch now. And I'm really happy with that lace section, and I think it'll look amazing once I block it out as well. Um, so this one is called Arisu. I really should know the designer, but I'll pop the link either maybe in the description, or possibly I will write up a blog post um, of all the details and stuff I talk about, and the link to that will be in the description. Either way, depends how much effort I feel like putting in this afternoon, to be quite honest. Um, but yeah, this color is really lovely. So the, the dye of the color is Knit One Crochet Two. And I think the yarn base is named Daisy and the color is Patina. So I really love this color. It's really nice. And I'm gonna make a lovely fresh summer top with it. This is what has happened because I keep dropping my um, cake of yarn. But anyway. Yeah, that's what I've been most spending most of my time on since Saturday, actually. Today's Friday, so I've only been working on that for a week. And obviously I work full-time as well, so that's on and off. Um, I suppose a couple other things I'll just mention quickly. If you guys have seen my previous videos, um, I did start working on my Christmas skirt, but... Um, I realized I don't know how to sew an invisible zipper into a skirt, which is fine because the book explains it, but it wasn't until after I'd tried to sew the invisible zipper into the skirt that I realized that. And also that you need not just a zipper foot, but an invisible zipper foot. So I ordered an invisible zipper foot online and it arrived, but I still haven't gone back to the sewing. I just feel like I need lots of motivation and big chunks of time to get into sewing. Whereas like knitting, I can sit down and even if I've only got five minutes, I can knit whatever I get up to. Whereas sewing, you kind of need to, I don't know, you can't just stop halfway through a row. Um, yeah, obviously in my Hufflepuff scarf, the second one, well the first one I need to finish off, the second one I need to still knit most of it. Because um, I was planning to have that finished for when the Crimes of Grindelwald movie comes out. But I think that's in less than two weeks now that it's November. I'm not sure of the exact date. I think it could be the 12th of November. Um, possibly the 14th or 15th. And yeah, um, not sure if that will happen. And I'm not sure if there's much reason because it's just gonna be warm and <laughs> Oh, I suppose I don't have to have it finished exactly for that date because we probably won't see the movie opening weekend anyway. Anyway, enough of that. Carry on. Um, I do have some stash enhancements. I didn't film the unboxing of my October knit crate. Um, did I say this was September? This was September, yeah. I didn't film the unboxing of my October knit crate, but I am really excited about it. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have already seen it. Um, and I'm really excited. So what they did this month was they put all of the patterns in one booklet and everyone got the same booklet. Uh, they did make the packaging, um, they did make the parcel more heavy so they had to do the packaging differently so that the postage wouldn't be uh, more expensive. Pardon me. So I think what they're gonna do in the future is you just get half of, I think what they're gonna do in the future is you just get half of the patterns. So. I'm not sure if that's like if you get membership crate, which is the one with the crochet pattern, um, then you get the membership and the sock membership. And then if you get either of the artisan crates, you might get both the artisan patterns. Something like that, I'm not sure. But yeah, so this is the 
October neck crepe. Um, the theme is Inspirations and it looks really lovely. There's lots of really lovely patterns in there. Um, man, it's crazy. Sometimes looking at knit patterns, you're just like, it just keeps going on forever and ever and ever and there's just a billion different little terms. I'm finding I really enjoy um, knitted charts, which is what I used to do the lace on this. I used the chart, which made it so much easier to figure out where I was up to. Actually, speaking of figuring out where you're up to, um, this week there's a new app um, called Making Things, which has come out. It does look really handy. Um, basically, it's like Netflix for knit and crochet patterns. And yeah, it looks great. I probably won't sign up for it, at least at the moment. It is $12 a US a month. So you just pay monthly and you get access to all the patterns. And then there's, looks like there's really cool ways to keep track of what you're up to in the pattern. And like you can make notes and stuff. So it does look really good. I just don't want to spend $12 a month on it at the moment. 12 US dollars a month. So that's more like 20 or so dollars Australian. I'm not sure. Anyway, so this is the October Artisan Knit Crate. I'm really enjoying the Artisan Crate at the moment. But it is cool that we got the patterns for all of them because it means I got a crochet pattern in here from... This is the crochet pattern from the membership box. So yeah, once again, that's I think that's 25 US a month and you get two skeins of yarn and you get a knit pattern and a crochet pattern. So that's really good if you just want maybe a fairly basic crate and you want a crochet pattern. Um, yeah, again, I'll pop the link if you want to sign up for knit crate down there. And um, yeah, the code, if you want to get 20% off your first month, that code is Grey 20 I'm sure you guys all know that. I've talked about it enough. So I'm going to stop talking about that. And first I'm going to show you, this is the yarn for October Knit Crane. It says Yarn Fairy and the Pixies, Elf Merino. Now, I'm going to admit, this is 100% extra fine NSW Merino. Now, it took me a while to figure out what NSW means because I live in New South Wales, in Australia. So, NSW normally means New South Wales. <laughs> it means non superwash wool. Or, no, maybe just non superwash. Non superwash. There we go. Yeah, it means non superwash. <laughs> But look at it, it's kind of like a really subtle purple, subtle kind of grey purple. And I really like it. And even better, so this is one of the patterns, which looks nice. It looks like a lovely pattern to enjoy with a bit of lace knitting in there. But I think I'm going to make the other one. And it's only a one skein pattern, so I could make two. It's a beanie. It's like, it's called Diamond Laced by Lana Hoes or Joyce. I'm really sorry. But yeah, look at that beanie. I really like her fluffy cut jumper as well. That's cool. I think there's another pattern of the beanie in here somewhere. Nope. I imagined it. Maybe I saw it online. Be like, look, a chart. Well, that's for a sock. Anyway, yeah, so that's the artisan sock pattern design and yarn from October. Anyway, so yeah, two different sock crates, two different other crates, etc. Mostly knitting. If you want crochet, go for the membership crate. And that's the other sock pattern. That's cute. And then they have a sneak peek, preek, a sneak peek, sneak peek for November, which it is now November. So the theme is enchanted. I almost said enchantment because I was trying to read it in my image. Enchanted. So that looks fun. I really like those colors. And like, she kind of looks like, yeah, in an enchanted forest or something. <gasps> I must say, I don't know how long Knit Crate will keep sending me boxes for, but uh, it's exciting to receive a little uh, 
little bit of yarn and a little pattern every month. Um, yeah, it's a nice little present to myself every month. Anyway, speaking of presents, oh. So in the artisan crates, what they do, the two artisan crates, they usually will, no, not usually, always will put in a little extra, something other than the yarn or the pattern, there's something extra. This month, I was really excited about this extra. They put in Chow Goo knitting needles. Now I do already have interchangeable knitting needles of Chow Goo that would give me this, well at least the exact same needle size. I'm not sure about the cable length, but probably, because I've bought a lot of Chow Goo needles considering I haven't actually bought most, like many of the completed sets. But this is still really exciting. These are good needles. I mean, I really like them, but keep in mind I've only used Spotlight knitting needles and Chagru knitting needles. So of course these are worlds above, especially interchange the um not interchangeable the circular needles from Spotlight because I had a lot of issues getting the yarn over where the uh, cable joins to the needle on the ones from Spotlight. So I really enjoy the Chagru ones. I'll be right back. A few last bits and pieces to show you. I um, went on, Matt and I went on a trip out to Bathurst a few weeks ago, which we really enjoyed. It's about a three and a half hour drive, about four hours once you stop for dinner or breakfast or lunch or whatever. Um, I'm just looking over there because my, we're looking after my friend's dog and she's looking at me. You can probably hear her rustling around in her bean bag. Anyway, we drove out to Bathurst and we're there for the weekend. And while we're there, my friend and I, who we were visiting, visited a little quilting shop. So I wanted to buy something while I was there, but you know, I didn't want to buy like, you know, a whole meter or a few meters of fabric because that's a bit much. I didn't have anything in mind. Um, I did think about buying some ribbon. They had some like, cool kind of ribbon with like measuring things on it. I mean, it sounds kind of silly, but like you'd use it as decorative kind of things. But what I ended up finding was they had for like, you know, it works out fairly expensive per meter for fabric, but like they had these little squares for like a dollar fifty each. And obviously, yeah, per meter, it's a lot, but let's not talk about that. So I got a bunch of these. It's kind of this like, Vintagey, maybe rustic -y. I don't know. Um, shabby chic -y. I'm just making up words, I think. Uh, kind of vibe. So, that's one of them. It's kind of blue with some brown little uh, floral type things. Um, but I got six of them, and I kind of tried to pick them so I could use them together in a project. So, yeah, there's one that's cream with some brown leafy bits kind of a bluey green with some lovely little red flowers and leaves a pale brown with some little red flowers and leaves different flowers for the other one then a brown with some lighter brown flowers I like that, that's cute and then this one's a cream with some red uh, birds yeah so yeah, I'm kind of thinking maybe I'll make up something, cut these into little squares and make up a little patchwork type thing. We'll see how we go. Now, you'll know about this if you watch my Instagram stories. Um, this is very exciting. Han this is from Hannah of Circus Tonic Handmade. This year, for the first time, she is doing an yarn advent calendar and so um i mean sorry if you've not ordered already it is much too late to order i ordered this way back in august um i almost missed it because it was during my month off instagram like i was occasionally just checking out what things were happening on my tablet and thankfully yeah she posted in her stories because she'd previously posted before that she was thinking about doing it i was like yes yes i need to get hers because it's pretty much you get a mini skein of yarn every day leading up to Christmas for the month of December, which is very exciting. And I love that idea. Um, and then when Hannah said she was going to do one, of course, yeah, I was like, I had to get it. Um, I have used some of Hannah's yarns before in my blur shawl. It's the, uh, the third color and the fifth color. So 
the blue is the third color and the purple that's the fifth color and yes I'm very excited about this I almost bought some more of her yarn when we visited Skein Sisters because she was the featured um, I think independent dyer of the month they, they usually do a featured dyer of the month um, was it September or October recently when I went to Skein Sisters Maybe it, no it must have been September yep I can't keep track of things anymore anyway I'll just show you I'm not gonna open any as I've said in my Instagram stories but like it's pretty cute this is for the first December and I can like feel the little mini stain in there she has said there's chocolate in here so I'm being very careful with the with the dog and the chocolate so this is just sat in the bag up on the chair and the dog hasn't really taken any notice of it she's pretty well behaved yeah so there's Hannah's logo if you've seen that around so Kastonic handmade hand dyed Australian yarns so yeah she has Instagram a website Facebook and a Ravelry group if you're interested in those all called Circus Tonic Handmade. Mm, that's not wrong. That's not right. www.circustonic.com.au is the website if you want to order any yarn. Um, but yeah, check out her Instagram feed for inspiration if you ask it after any. She has lo lots of lovely yarn combos on there. Yes, so what I'm thinking I might do with this, I'm not going to film it and put it on YouTube, but I think if you want to see me open this each day, I will probably film each day and put it on my Instagram stories and then once that's all done well not once it's all done each day I'll put it in the highlights so if you want to see them all you can always check out the highlights on my Instagram stories yes I'm very excited about this I'm thinking I want to make one big like long knitted shawl project so I'm really into knitting at the moment um, especially hand dyed yarns I think it's much easier to make hand dyed yarn look good in a knitted project than it is in a crochet project. There are definitely crochet designs out there that are great for hand dyed yarn, like the Blur Shawl by Deanne of Addy Day Designs. I'm just going to talk about Deanne all day. Um, yeah, if you haven't heard of Deanne, check out her designs on Ravelry, Addy Day Designs. Check out her YouTube. Anyway, moving on. But yes, what I think I'm doing. So is, yeah, like maybe a kind of a fade type thing obviously I don't know what colors I have so we'll see how that goes but yeah if you don't want spoilers for your advent calendar if you have one of these make sure you open it before I do well before you watch my Instagram stories there shouldn't be too much of a problem I assume it'll be the first thing anyone does each day <laughs> and certainly well I start work at 6 15 so we'll see how we go on that you might have to wait till I get home from work each day. In which case, yeah, you'll have better chances. Anyway, I just got a couple of little bits I want to show you guys. Um, just random things. Some of it's yarn related, some of it's not. I, um, I started, like, I found... Yeah, so I've just got a couple of things I want to show you guys. Some of it's craft related and some of it's not. I've started a little kind of a scrapbook. Silly me, I started at the back of the book. Like this is an old notebook that I had hanging around. Started at the back of the book, which makes it a bit hard to open. Just the way the spine is makes it the back. That's all. Um, yeah, so I started gluing my yarn labels in there, especially like hand dyed yarns or something special. Uh, probably not stuff I'll just pick up from Spotlight or whatever. And then writing a little bit about the project I used it for or when and where I bought it, who I was with when I bought it. Um, yeah, so here's my Circus Tonic Handmade page. So we have Lead and Flycatcher and King Quail. I honestly am not certain which one is the blue and which is the purple. I think that might be the blue and that might be the purple, but don't take my word for it. And so I've just got a little spiel about using it for the blur shawl. And then I've got my Candy yarn tags and a little sample of the yarn there as well. And then talking a little bit about my Netherton pullover and then buying that yarn also at Canberra Wool Festival when I met Deanne. Um, I had actually met her before at a workshop. I met Deanne of Addy Day Designs and Claire from Bob Wilson123 as well as Natalie from Tally Louise Crochet. 
So that was a lovely day. And I also got to meet up with a friend of mine who I hadn't seen for a while because she lives in Canberra. And then this is my Allegria yarn. I actually had more of Allegria yarn. I had a blue and a purple one, but I think I threw the tags out. But this is the purple. No, I said blue and purple. The blue and a green one. Also this one, which I used for... Also, this is a sample of the green one, actually. I needed up a little sample from some leftover yarn I had. Um, but yeah, this I used for knitting my fingerless mitts. Anyway, so a little spiel about how I purchased that when we went to Melbourne for VidCon last year, um, which was a really lovely time, and we got that at Morrison Sons. Um, I spent the longest time wandering around and trying to pick out yarns while Matt sat there and played on his phone very patiently. And yeah, so it's got details about um, also the projects I needed, or crocheted actually, with the green and blue ones, which were gifts for my mum and my sister for Christmas. And then we have the Regia sock yarn, which I've started knitting some socks in, um, but I left them at home, I don't have them with me, and you know, they were coming along slowly. Well, I've got a full sock done, apart from the heel, and then the other one's like that much done. And that yarn I bought when I met Heather from uh, What All Cottage Handmade is her Instagram username. And so we met up in Katoomba and yeah, got to know each other. And yeah, it's been really lovely knowing her. Um, we bought some yarn together. This is my page from Three Yarns, Three Mums Yarn, which I also bought in Canberra. And I've used some of their yarn for the blurred line sweater and then I have also some more plans to use the other yarn I got there which one of those skeins Claire bought for me as a prize for a contest she did. Here I have my uh, Ren and Ollie page with a spin DK. This is a sample, some samples of the yarn. I think that's Pond and that's Tide Pool. Once again could be wrong, I have no idea. And yeah so this I bought when I went to Skein Sisters when um, Michelle from who is My Tiny Garden on Instagram. She invited me to join her on a trip to Skein Sisters. And so I did, and that was really lovely. And kind of got me a bit more motivated to do things. I'm just gonna glue my little pond tag in here with it. And yeah. And so then I got some details about the Copenhagen calling pattern. Um, which actually I had to adjust a little bit because I ran out of yarn talked about that a lot in the last video. I must have finished that before I filmed last time. But I have no idea what date I filmed on. I just go off Instagram a lot of the time when I'm figuring out what proge projects I've finished since the last video, but obviously that's not particularly helpful. Anyway, so that was a lovely trip to Skein Sisters. This is not in chronological order, it's just kind of in the order I found the tags in. So these are some tags from my Bendigo Woolen Mills. Um, yarn which I've started a blanket in but I definitely talked about this last time and I have not made any project progress on that since the last video because I haven't sewn in any ends and I told myself I couldn't crochet on it anymore until I sewn in some ends yeah I've got my little swatch from my Netherton pullover as well this was my first swatch but it was actually way too big um, so the swatch that I actually used like the needles for I pulled out but was what was useful about this swatch is I used a bit from each ball so I worked out that it doesn't matter if I don't alternate skeins for this particular yarn which was great because you can't see different colors but I do like this little swatch yeah and one last thing you might not be interested in this but that's okay I um oh yeah, my motivation for doing stuff is on and off again. Sometimes it's just not there and I'm just like, it's not happening. And so yes, I was feeling particularly crap in the afternoon and also today at work. And so after work, when I went to the shops and got my smoothie, I also went into, there's a shop called Zing, which sells basically nerdy slash pop culture merchandise. And I love going in there. Usually I don't buy anything. Usually I'm very self-controlled. But today I walked in there and like they had some like Disney Christmas ornaments and the Pusheen Christmas, which is the little cat that you might see little emoticons on your phone for. Um, not emoticons. They're more like stickers. 
Um, and then I saw that they had like some plush Pikachus and I was like, oh, I could get a plush Pikachu. And pretty much, I think the moment I walked in there, decided I was gonna buy something. And I'd almost decided on the plush Pikachu until I came across these guys. Now, probably not interested. Now, this was like $12 for the set of four. So, yep, they came home with me. There's little Pikachu, Charmander, Squirtle, and I just dropped Bulbasaur. But anyway, you saw him. And then I also got some enamel pins. I really like pins. This says, this is the um, Hogwarts logo. There's a little Hufflepuff pin, and this one says Loyal. These Hufflepuffs are loyal. So, yeah. And as you see, like top fellas for the three pins so that's not bad yeah they're very nice so i'll pop them on one of my project bags or something like that anyway that's pretty much all for the crafty stuff even though it is getting very warm especially today uh, my favorite thing about this time of year is that the jacaranda trees start flowering um i'll pop in a picture of one which has lost all its leaves so it's not particularly exciting but yeah they, they're nice lovely shade of purple once they all flower and there's lots around um, the area that we're in at the moment and yeah it's really nice bye I'll show you the dog my name's Sky She's like, uh, I'm coming back to sleep. What are you doing? She's deaf, by the way. Anyway. Bye.